Welcome to DABCC Radio, where smart people listen. Virtualization and Cloud Talk, featuring cutting edge solutions from the hottest companies around the globe. Broadcasting from the DABCC offices in sunny Sarasota, Florida. Surrounded by computers, books, and Legos. A Microsoft MVP, Citrix Charter CTP, VMware VExpert. And your host, Douglas Brown. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of DABCC Radio. This is Doug Brown, and I have a great show for you guys today. Uh, we have a well, a, a solution that's been around for a while, but they're new in the U.S., and uh, they're making a big push. They were just at Citrix Summit with one of their neat new solutions that they're doing, and uh, I'm very, very happy to have them on the show because for me, as I always say, I get to learn along with you guys, and I learned so much in this episode, and I'm really quite impressed with these guys' solution. I really need to check it out and put it in my labs and play with it myself. Absolutely sounds amazing, and I think you guys will love it. So on that note, we have a company called Flexible IT with us, and we have their CTO on, and he's going to tell us all about what they're doing, why should we, you know, how it works, and why we should care, and why we should rush out to go get this. So uh, what else should I say? But I also want to thank Citrix Ready. Uh, they're on the line with us too. And, and Flexible IT is a Citrix Ready solution. So certified solution, validated solution. And we have these guys, uh, or thanks to Citrix Ready, we have these guys with us today. So we also have Sodnik from Citrix Ready who is going to, uh, um, you know, add a little color and add his two cents to the interviews, to the conversation, as I like to call. So with no further ado, let's dive into my interview with Citrix Ready and Flexible IT. Thank you so much for taking the time to do with this. I've been looking forward this one to this podcast for a while now. Uh, Flexible IT is a new, newer solution, and it's one that I just know a little bit about. And I'm really excited about learning a lot about you guys. So let's see if we can do that today. So on that note, let's just get to it. As always, my first question is, who are you? So let's go around the horn. Uh, Killian, who are you and what do you do over at Flexible IT? So hello, everyone. My name is Killian Arjona. I'm, I'm a Flexible IT CTO. I'm uh, 32 years old, based in Barcelona. Uh, I've been doing consultancy jobs uh, for Microsoft and Citrix for uh, more than uh, 11 or 12 years now. I uh, joined uh, Flexible IT uh, three years ago, but I've uh, been uh, helping them uh, since 2008, I think, uh, doing external jobs and uh, consultancy and all that. So, uh, yeah, it's been... Uh, Pretty nice years with Microsoft and Citrix technologies over here. That's great. That's great. I'm excited about this, Killian. I really am. So, um, Sadnik, uh, glad to have you back on the on the podcast with us. Always, always, a, uh, you know, always love the color you add is the best way to say it. So, can you tell us uh, for those who have not sat through one of the pod, my Citrix Ready podcasts with you, who are you, and a little bit about yourself? What do you do over at Citrix Ready? I appreciate it. Doug. Uh, uh, hello everyone, I'm Sagnik Dutta. I am the technical marketing specialist at Citrix Ready. I handle the uh, desktop ecosystem for Citrix Ready, which is uh, basically the products and desktop and an app and everything around that. Uh, typically working with partners, uh, third party products, integration with Citrix and uh, pitch them uh, pitch for the vertical industry standpoint, uh, how they sell uh, solutions for financial services, healthcare, education, and public sector use cases, and uh, create programs out of that. So, yeah, pretty much everything around technical marketing for Citrix Ready. Great, great. Okay, so let's dive into this thing. Uh, Killian, can you tell us a bit about Flexible IT? What are you guys trying to do over there? What's it? Can you tell us, you know, give us the overview. What is Flexible IT? Yeah, sure. So Flexible IT was founded in 2002, and uh, we are focused on the virtual workspace solutions since uh, 2008, where we launched our first uh, our first product, the Flexible Flexible BDIO solution. 
So uh, we have uh, offices, we have a quarter in London, uh, but half offices uh, all over Europe. Uh, just recently opened uh, our office in Santa Clara too, and the next month we are opening on Dubai. So we are, this couple of last years, we are uh, doing our international expansion and all that because uh, our, uh, our products are uh, software. We are using software products uh, to uh, enhance the, the standard features of a uh, ZenApp and, uh, and Zen Desktop and Zen Desktop installation. So we are mostly a software software company focused on expanding Citrix uh, ZenApp and Zen Desktop capabilities. And um, we are al we also offer uh, one of our, uh, our software solutions. We are also offering it bundled in our own hyper hyperconvert uh, uh, hardware. So. Um, we are mostly a software company, but uh, we are also offering uh, uh, HCI hardware if uh, if uh, the, the, our partners or, or customers uh, need that too. Very cool, very cool. Well, we'll definitely let's you know. As I always like to say, we like to peel the layers off the onions. So we'll get there. Uh, <laughs> but before we do that, uh, I want to ask you. You know, this is a Citrix Ready podcast, so we usually ask this question. You know, what are your views of you know Flexible IT's partnership with Citrix Ready? So Sodnik, maybe you can take this one first, and then Kilian, I'll ask you second. Sound good? Good. Yeah. Dog. Good for uh, me. yeah so. Uh, I would take it from Citrix point of view and Citrix invested, as you know, Citrix has invested uh, and continues to invest a lot in the mobile work style. And uh, for Citrix, it's just not a buzzword, but it's a commitment. So when we talk about mobile work styles, uh, we're, we're talking about empowering people to choose when, uh, where, and how you work get done and giving them a new level of freedom, flexibility, and choice. And uh, Flexible IT shares the same ideology for vision, so to speak. Uh, their products are very well integrated with our uh, with our solutions and desktop and the app. Their monitoring solution does a fantastic job when it comes to making IT admin lives or the end users' lives easier. Uh, so yeah, I think overall the Flexible IT partnership with Citrix Ready is uh, working great for both the parties and the continue to uh, work towards uh, better, more innovation and integration. Makes sense. And, and Sat, uh, well, and, and Killian, and what's your views on the Citrix Ready, uh, Ready relationship? Uh, uh, we, we are very happy with uh, our Citrix Ready partnership. Uh, we are, uh, uh, our product is uh, purpose-built for Citrix, so we are only working with Citrix on, on our solutions and all the help and all the love we, we get from the Citrix Ready guys and from the partnership teams is, is been great for us. So we are very, very happy uh, with uh, with the program and uh, we look forward uh, to, to working with them again on our future products for sure. Perfect, perfect. And um, so, so let's let's start. Uh, uh, well, real quick, Sadnik, uh, um, how well do flexible IT products work with Citrix technologies? What do you you know? You do a lot of these, you know, the validations. Uh, can you talk a bit about your experience there? Uh, sure, Doug. Uh, so, flexible IT uh, bases are uh, they have the solution that they uh, made Citrix ready recently. Is the Video iOS Manager. Uh, and they also have a cloud-based solution which is uh, coming up very soon on the marketplace, uh, which they showcase in this uh, summit in our uh, that conducted in this January. Uh, well, uh, they have a, so the monitoring application solution that they offer, uh, yeah, and also just not application server monitoring. It also does desktop performance and that real time. Uh, they have a built a solution that understands the, I would say, uh, typically, uh, they understand the, I, I, what I see is the interface, and I would give them a thumbs up as the user interface because of the, the web responsive console, I think they use, they usually refer it as. And it's just so clean and simple to use, and it's amazing. So, uh, uh, IT admin on a daily, their daily work or work time, they can uh, check their high TPU resources that an end user is uh, connected in the environment, and uh, and there there could be number of optimizations you know, when you uh, when you when it comes to VDI that could be implemented uh, through registry key setting, and this is all these are all uh, very simple simple to. Uh, Set it right across from the from the dashboard that uh, Flexible IT offers. 
so I would say, I mean, there's also an option to even execute custom scripts. So yeah, I think a lot of flexibility uh, and ease. Uh, so yeah, overall, I would, uh, we have verified this with these Zender stuff, uh, the latest Zender stuff and Zenup versions, and uh, we continue to get this verified in the coming versions as well. Perfect. And okay, Killian, let's start. Uh, let's start diving deep into this thing. So to start off, what do you do? What kind of business problems are you trying to solve, and how? Yeah. So when we launch uh, Flexible VDI iOS, uh, we we looked at the at the market and our, our, our customers in, on the Synapse and Synapse desktop level, and uh, we saw that uh, they have uh, difficulties uh, managing uh, or, or they level one and level two people. The, the, not as experienced uh, people that they had on these customers had troubles uh, managing the end-to-end -end solution. You know, you, they, they, they had different consoles to manage all of the parts of the infrastructure. They had the Citrix Studio, they had Active Directory users and computers, group policies, uh, their, their own uh, monitoring solutions that may be installed in their companies like System Center Operations Management or whatever. And, and we saw that most uh, most of the time, these uh, these solutions were managed by different uh, people or maybe even the different departments. So, uh, managing all that uh, for for a big company wasn't as agile or as flexible as as one would would think it was. So we thought, why don't uh, why don't we we uh, create or what, why don't we develop a web console, easy to use web console that uh, covers all of this all of this management from a single pro single pane of glass point of view. So that's where Flexible VDI OS uh, Manager, uh, uh, the first versions, uh, did. Uh, we had a web console where you can manage all of your applications for all of your desktops. Uh, you could uh, monitor in real time information about the performance of a particular application server or a particular uh, send desktop uh, desktop or uh, uh, just uh, all from a single from a single point of view with delegated tasks so different people could enter different options and all that but uh, just simplifying and uh, letting the less experienced guys uh, manage an infrastructure that uh, they may not be able to manage using the using the standard the standard web uh, the standard uh, consoles and applications makes sense very cool very cool you had mentioned earlier that it's hardware and software um can you describe the differences there when would i do software yes. when would i do hardware yes so uh, our first versions were just focused on on this management and monitoring and and all that but um, the later releases uh, we were expanding on the capabilities of uh, zen app and, and zen desktop installation we weren't only offering a web console to manage all that but we're also expanding on the capabilities uh, of, uh, of a standard installation. So we added uh, features like uh, that our custo corporate customers demanded, like multi-tenancy or delegation or template or master image administration and all that. And uh, as we, uh, as, as the solution became bigger, uh, our, our new cost corporate customers were, were installing, uh, were seeing a lot of advantages on these uh, Citrix and flexible BDI OS solutions, but. Uh, we're installing uh, these solutions on, on repurposed servers or on old hardware that may, they, they had uh, already in the data centers. And uh, they weren't paying much attention on sizing or they weren't, uh, the, 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 the performance of the, of the end solution wasn't as, uh, as good as one would think. So we thought, uh, what, why don't we bundle Citrix solution, flexible BDI, um, flexible BDI OS, on our own hardware, hyper on our own hyperconverged hardware, and that's where uh, where our product flexible BDI system uh, came to be. We are using uh, standard one U servers uh, with only SSD disks, with all of the Citrix infrastructure pre-installed and all of the flexible infrastructure pre-installed. So you can, uh, uh, if you buy flexible BDI system, you can get uh, you can get all of the benefits of a Citrix and flexible infrastructure with the hardware and with a very, very uh, fast deployment time. Very interesting, very interesting. And you just mentioned deployment time. So what does it take to get up and running? Can you describe that process? Yes, uh, for uh, the flexible BDI system, uh, 
you can uh, you can get an installation in uh, maybe one day or, or just one morning. You just uh, get the device out of the box, uh, just plug it in, configure a couple uh, of IP addresses, configure your Active Directory domain, and uh, you are ready to go. The flexible BD iOS manager web console uh, you, yes, it is already pre-installed, so you can log in there and just uh, begin creating your master images or uh, or uh, or doing uh, all of the all of the jobs that uh, maybe it will take a little longer in a standard in a standard installation. So uh, for the BDI system, it may be just just one day to get uh, to get ready. Very cool, very cool. What kind of system requirements? What 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 do I need in the back end? Just a typical Citrix, or can you describe the requirements? Yeah, we, yeah, we work uh, with a standard setup and send desktop installation. So if you buy the software-only solution, you don't need uh, anything strange. Uh, all of the operations that or, or flexible VDI OS system does, it's uh, it's supported. We are using the SDK or PowerShell commandlets uh, to interact with the Citrix Studio and the other components. So it's uh, all standard standard uh, Citrix uh, Citrix installation. The first version we support is uh, 5.6, so it's uh, been a while for that, and we are supporting uh, 7.12 as the latest version right now. But uh, for the software only, uh, you only need a standard ZenApp uh, and Send Desktop installation, and uh, uh, it, uh, the virtual machines work on uh, right now work on uh, VMware ESXi or Hyper-V. Send server support is coming, I think, next month. Oh, cool, cool. Now, uh, when would I want to use hardware versus software or software versus hardware? Is it is it a scaling issue? At what point do I decide to go to the hardware or, you know? Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good question. Something our, our partners and our customers uh, are, uh, ask a lot. So we are recommending the, the hardware solution for, for greenfield installations. So you go to a customer, he wants uh, to get on board with this uh, mobility or maybe virtual workspaces or digital transformation or whatever so and they don't have anything ready so that's uh, the point where, where you can uh, we, you can go with the hardware solution you can uh, uh, you, you can use the hardware solution with all of the infrastructure pre-installed be it Citrix and flexible and uh, be ready in one day but uh, if, if your customer already has a Citrix and Appans and desktop installation and they have uh, and they want to uh, that infrastructure to be managed uh, by uh, people that don't have as much knowledge as a Citrix expert, or maybe they want to delegate some of the tasks to level one or level two people, or uh, use the capabilities that we provide, like multi-tenancy, uh, you can just uh, buy the software version and expand uh, your, your standard installation that you may already have. Interesting. Does, uh, does the software have capabilities the hardware does not then? Like multi-tenancy mm -hmm. you mentioned? Yeah, but uh, that's also included on the on the hardware version. So the the, the main difference is uh, the, the the software that comes with the software only uh, hardware uh, hardware version it's practically the same. Uh, the main difference is that uh, you know the hardware version comes bundled with the hardware, but sure. uh, <laughs> the 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 rest is uh, is almost all all the same. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's all installed. I, I chose the software in this instance and the hardware in this instance. And then what? What do I do once it's up and up and running? What's what's the? Can you explain sort of the management process? What would be a daily task, or what do I get out of it? Things like that. Yeah. So uh, with uh, w when you have this already installed, all of the management uh, is uh, is done from the flexible VDI OS manager console. It's an HTML5 console. It's uh, you can access it from any device, uh, and um, we aim uh, for you to be able to do like 90 or 95 percent of the task that you will do in a standard ZenApp and Zen Desktop installation. You can do that without leaving the console. So with uh, with the flexible BDI uh, BDI OS manager console, you can do a task like creating a new user, assigning an a published application to that user you just created, creating a new master image, uh, and, and that master image will get uh, automatically joined to the appropriate Active Directory domain. Citrix BDI will be automatically installed for you, and all of the components required for that to become a master image will also be created. You can also manage and monitor all of the uh, the, the infrastructure 
the hardware and the, uh, and the end user experience from this console. So you can see uh, login times for that a particular session or a particular desktop. You can also uh, compare that login times for other users or maybe the same user, but uh, or were their login times last week, for example. You can uh, create custom operations. So maybe you want uh, uh, to associate, a, you want to maybe create a particular regedit uh, key and you can uh, create uh, that operation as a an script and uh, use our own, uh, our own repository of scripts. It's called custom operations and launch that particular script to one or multiple, uh, multiple users. Uh, just uh, uh, create alerts uh, for uh, for all of the environment like uh, desktop has a particularly high CPU or uh, RAM or latency or whatever. It's uh, all of the tasks that will you or, or your customers do uh, in a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, we aim them for be able to, for you to be able to do them uh, from this uh, from this web console, easy to use uh, with uh, delegated administration and with those an extensive knowledge of, of Citrix required. Very interesting, very interesting. So you said 95% of the tasks that I would typically do as an ad, Citrix admin are now done through the, the flexible IT solution, is that correct? Yeah, it's, uh, that's it's absolutely correct. But we also aim, uh, we don't aim to replace that uh, the, the, the standard consoles if you don't want. We understand that there's a lot of people with a lot of Citrix knowledge already uh, in the market. So uh, we aim to provide what we call our two-way administration. So uh, if you do our, an operation from the flexible BD iOS manager console, that op operation will get reflected back to Citrix Studio and vice versa. So if you go to Citrix Studio and create a catalog or a delivery group, you will be able to see that information in the flexible with the iOS manager console. So if maybe you as an experienced uh, Citrix administrator maybe uh, may want to use the tools you already know, but maybe the level one guy supporting an installation don't know what Citrix Studio is. They can just log into a, to that web console, do all of their operations and don't break the, the existing administration that you already have. That's 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 very cool. I can imagine, uh, you know, a very typical use case is to give of those level, give the level one, the help desk guys, you know, the the uh, uh, you know uh, management maybe even right to the access to flexible and then you know the Citrix gurus probably use both, right? Yeah, that's exactly correct. So you may want to give the level one help desk guys the the ability to. I don't know, maybe create a new desktop from an existing master image. They can do that. They can do just that from the web console with those, even knowing what Citrix Studio is, or maybe they don't have access to the hypervisor console or whatever. They just log into the log into the flexible BD iOS manager web console, select that they want to create a new desktop, and all of the operations get done for them automatically. Cool. What? What? Are, uh, I imagine there's there's things you can I can do with flexible IT that I can't do within Citrix Studio or you know on the the other consoles. Uh, can you maybe describe some of that? Is it does it is it unifying across all, everything? You know, can you it, try to you know paint that picture in words? Yes, maybe one of the one of the most popular uh, features that we have uh, that is not really available in a standard Zenap and Zen desktop installation is our multi-tenancy multi -tenancy modules. It's particularly interesting to for, uh, for large corporates or large enterprises and also for uh, Citrix service providers. With the multi-tenancy feature, you can create uh, different tenants. Uh, they are multi-layered too, so you can have tenants inside tenants inside tenants and so on. And uh, each one of these, uh, each one of these tenants has access to uh, to a part of the web console. They aren't able to see information about the other tenants. So uh, you can uh, create uh, infrastructures for Citrix service providers where each tenant is a different customer, and you can offer them uh, uh, desktop as a service, uh, desktop as a service operations. Or uh, if you are a large enterprise may, and uh, you have um, in, inside this enterprise, you have different departments or you have different companies, you can operate these different departments and companies inside the same, uh, the same enterprise as different tenants too. 
when you create a user in a particular tenant, uh, they aren't able to see information about the other tenants. They can use the console as if it was uh, an infrastructure just for only them. They don't see information about the other users that are currently logged in or that have uh, that have uh, machines or applications inside the inside the inside the, the infrastructure. And uh, yeah, it lets you uh, delegate different uh, parts of administration and different sections of the console to different users and different tenants. And also, uh, you are able to uh, to use your own billing and accounting module uh, to, if you want, uh, bill or um, the different resources each tenant is consuming at the end of the month, at the end of the week, or in real time, if you want. Very cool. Very cool. I really like that. I really like that. Sodnik, is there any, uh, you know, I asked you, you the question about your experience with it early on, but anything else you want to add, you know, some of the stuff that Kilian has talked about and, and that you've experienced playing around with it? Uh, no, I think uh, the multi-tenancy aspect that Kilian talked about is a great feature, uh, creating tenants within the tenants, uh, isolating one from the other is uh, quite, quite a useful use case when it comes to companies who are to us into offering public cloud services. So yeah, yeah I think uh, this is one of the things which uh, enhances the overall Linda stuff and Zenap solution. Uh, and um, yes, and uh, also that I think the major, I would uh, really uh, come back on the how we, the admin sees the interface, the, the cleanliness and the simple simplicity of the dashboard is just amazing. So yeah, I I really like the interface. That's cool. That's cool. I love it. I love it. So, uh, uh, Killian, I have to ask you, you know, what are your customers saying? Do you have any maybe customer, customer success stories you'd like to share with us? Yeah, we have uh, customers uh, all over Europe. We, just, uh, we, we are just expanding to uh, Dubai and, and uh, United States this, uh, this year. So, I'm sure uh, customers will be coming uh, from that uh, particular zone. So, uh, very very soon, but uh, over Europe we have customers for, ranging from uh, you know 500 users up to uh, eight uh, eight thousand or nine thousand users. That uh, they they love the simplicity and the delegation capabilities of the of the console. Maybe they can have the level three guys that already uh, that already know how Citrix Go works and all that. Uh, they have much less work right now than they had uh, previously. Uh, each uh, of the uh, support tickets that they had uh, before flexible had to be solved by the level three guys and now they just uh, uh, can give uh, a level one and level two people in the in help desk uh, access to our own, co our own web console and most of the operations can be solved by them without having to to enter the citrix studio or the other consoles to uh, uh, that uh, that they will need uh, to know and know and don't have the knowledge to do to do that very cool very cool um so i have to ask you you know why citrix and flexible it you know uh, um you know i asked this to both of you guys but you know why why would i want to use this console over what citrix is doing well the multi-tenancy right there but um you know why together why is together better so you know, that's we, also we sort of like a competition question too in some ways right i i imagine you get this quite often from a customer yeah we 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 try to focus on uh, on on areas where uh, where or uh, where we can work together. We we don't aim to replace or or to uh, you know or or to overlap the features that that, that Citrix already does well. But uh, we try to make the deployment easier. Uh, we try to make the day-to-day -day management easier and uh, faster for uh, for uh, for the our customers and Citrix customers. We try. Uh, to make all of the uh, uh, to, make, to make this as uh, much uh, easier to monitor and to and to manage too, so uh, you don't have to hop between the different consoles that uh, that you may have in a standard in a standard installation, and we also provide uh, uh, professional services that. Uh, uh, allow you to manage and to uh, and to get uh, a healthy Citrix installation. It's all bundled also in the in the console. So um, yeah, we we just uh, get an awesome solution like uh, Citrix has in Zenapans and Desktop and try to expand 
on the on the capabilities that uh, that we see are great, but making them easier for a customer to uh, to to just uh, exploit. Awesome, awesome. And then I do have the competition question. I mean, do you guys have any competition? And and if so, you know, how do what? Why are you better than everyone else out there? So we get compared a lot uh, in our hardware point of view to the other hyperconverged uh, to, to the other hyperconverged solutions, you know, like Nutanix and Simplicity and all of the all of the guys that are doing uh, hyperconverged only. So um, our solution is uh, purpose built for Citrix. So we are only uh, we are only doing this for Citrix and Appans and Desktop. We don't work uh, with uh, with uh, anyone else. And uh, on the hardware point of view, we are also focused on uh, on this uh, Zenapans and desktop solutions. So it's easier for us to provide an awesome user experience with different uh, with our different hardware hardware models. On the software point of view, well, we uh, it's it's a difficult question uh, for for competition because uh, you know on the on the May, we may compete on uh, on some operations with uh, hyperconversion guys, but our software solution also works. Uh, if uh, if the, a particular customer has uh, an existing hyperconverged installation, they can just uh, buy the hyperconverged hardware that they like, uh, use a standard setup and desktop installation, and then put our software work to work on that on that installation. So on the soft on software only point of view, we don't have as many as many competition, and uh, we. Uh, we think our customers love the simplicity and the and the day-to-day -day management capabilities we provide. Oh, that makes total sense. And you know, I got ahead of myself. I didn't ask Sodnik about you know why uh, Citrix and Flexible. So Sodnik, you know, anything to add there on why Citrix and Flexible together is better? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Doug. I mean, I think it's the shared uh, vision. I would say that uh, that we can both carry, uh, which is the mobile work style. Uh, I believe flexibility have uh, mastered the media technology over the years and they understand the profile of our customer base and they have managed to offer a, a very simple user experience and by providing the best experience out there when it comes to IT admins monitoring and managing uh, daily activities. And, uh, um, and all of this can be, uh, I would say, VDI system is tried and tested to transform a complicated VDI project into a donkey solution. So yeah, um, and I keep hearing this from the, our leadership uh, time and again about mobile work style is not about devices. There are uh, there are a number of solutions out there which is which has uh, inv invested in a feature heavy software solutions and uh, but then it's about the overall user experience and how simple it is for an IT admin to use in the AVI system. So overall, I would see flexibility is all about understanding understanding the people and uh, and offering joint solution accordingly. So yeah, very cool, very cool. Okay, Killian, one more question for you. Actually, two more uh, in the future. So here we are today. You know, what can we expect from you guys in the future? Where where are you going with this solution? So uh, we're actually pretty, very excited because uh, a couple of weeks, uh, of weeks back at the Citrix Summit in Anaheim, we launched our new flexible SMB cloud product. It's uh, like a light offering of our existing product. It's focused on uh, focused on uh, uh, small companies from 50 users to 1,200 users. And uh, it has uh, some limited features uh, that uh, that we don't provide in this in this SMB cloud version. Like uh, this doesn't have multi-tenancy, but it has all of the other capabilities that our flexible BDI or manager solution has, like uh, all of the delegation of the of the different roles, the web administration, the master image creation, and all that. And it's laser focused on uh, these uh, small uh, and mid-market uh, mid businesses. So it, uh, we like to my, my colleagues back in marketing uh, like to like to see this as a as simple as a toaster. So we we this uh, this solution it's hardware uh, hardware only. It uh, it's hyperconverged hardware. It comes with a fixed IP address with administration pa uh, administrator user with no password. You go to you just uh, get the SMB cloud out of the box, connect uh, it to the network. And uh, go to that fixed IP address, and you will be greeted by a quick config setup. It's a web-based uh, web-based administration with web-based wizard for uh, setting up 
all of the Citrix uh, Zen app and Zen desktop installation. So you go over and put some IPs, uh, maybe select if you want to create a new Active Directory domain, or maybe join to an existing Active Directory. Select if you want to use NetScale or VPX, or you don't want to use remote access and all that. It's five minutes of human intervention, two, uh, two hours of uh, virtual machine installation and creation, but when uh, these two hours pass, when you go back from your long coffee, um, and uh, you, you get a Citrix Zen app and Zen desktop installation ready to go. And uh, you select that you want to use uh, uh, NetScaler VPX, not only Zen app and Zen desktop, but the NetScaler is already configured with a gateway. Uh, so your users are able to connect to that uh, to that installation safely from the from the internet. So uh, this was the future for us. Uh, just uh, for uh, from uh, we just launched this uh, two weeks ago. So uh, we are actually uh, looking for the for, to, for the future to uh, just uh, get new features to this, uh, get this uh, new SMB cloud polished, and get uh, this uh, solution. Uh, to the mid market, uh, let our partners uh, get uh, to that uh, uh, to that uh, small business that uh, is not as usual as the big and enterprise and corporate accounts. And uh, we are very, very, very happy about uh, about the reception we got at the at the summit. Very happy about how the product turn uh, turn up because it's a light version of the the product we've been doing for some years, and we are very excited to provide these uh, these capabilities to a small to a small businesses. Wow, that's really neat. I really like that. Um, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool idea. I love it. I love it, man. I love it. Absolutely love it. I like what you guys do. This is very neat technology. Like I said, I was excited to learn more, and uh, I've done that. So if somebody wants to learn more, um, what do they need to do? And, 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 you know, you guys have software too. Can they try this? Do you have evals or, you know, demos? Uh, how does that work? Yeah, we can. Uh, if someone is interested in a POC for the hardware uh, for the hardware product or a POC for the software only product, uh, they can go to flexible.com. That's uh, flexible with two X, uh, and then uh, they got, they have a for an, uh, a contact form here there that they they can fill in. And one of my um, one of my guys in the engineering team will get back to them and uh, set up a POC for them with no no compromises. Very cool, very cool. And uh, again, the website is flexxibleit.com. Yeah, that's so. exactly correct. Excellent. Okay, guys, I'll just say thank you very much, and, and uh, we'll call it a show. So thank you very much. Thank you, Doug. Thanks, Doug. <laughs> Bye-bye. Okay, so that concludes another successful episode of DABCC Radio. As always, I want to thank my guests for today, Flexible IT and Citrix Ready, for making this happen. I really enjoyed it. Great episode, great technology, and these guys were a big hit at Summit. So definitely check out what they're doing. Head on over to their website, FlexibleIT.com. That is F-L-E-X-X-I-B-L-E-I-T.com, and have at it. I think you guys will like what you find. and. Uh, I, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a lot of fun to record it. And I, like I said at the beginning, I learned, or, you know, I look forward to learning myself and I did learn a lot. So hope you guys did too. On that note, thank you so much for listening to DABCC radio. If you uh, like the show, please tell a friend. That's how we grow and tell friends, not just a friend, tell all your friends, mass group email, right? Post it on Twitter. And, uh, I would absolutely appreciate that. And so would your friends, right? So, <laughs> Uh, what else do I say but head on over to www.dabcc.com for the latest and greatest virtualization and new support resources. And I think you guys will find a completely new, rebranded, rebuilt website. It's awesome. You're awesome. We're awesome. Let's be awesome together. 2017. Happy New Year, guys. I hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you for listening to DABCC Radio. C-C? D-A-B-C. Say it again. D-A-B-C-C. D-A-B-C. Can you say it again? D-A-B-C-C.
D-A-B-B-C. How about D-A-B-C-C? D-A-B-B-C. D-A-B-C-C. 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 D-A-B-C-C.